Hi everyone. Welcome back to Winglish. We hope you all are well and in good health. This is our fourth episode. Let's get started with a quick recap of last week's words. The first one was prudent, meaning acting with or showing care or thought for the future. Next was facade, which means a false misinterpretation intended to conceal something unpleasant. And the last one was euphemism, which is a polite expression used instead of words or phrases that might otherwise be considered harsh or unpleasant. Today we will be learning the words succinct, limbo, and gregarious. Our first word for today would be succinct. S U C C I N C T. Succinct. It means briefly and clearly expressed or a compact, precise expression without wasted words. Synonyms are brief, compact, concise, crisp. If someone gives a speech or a lecture and it goes on and on and is never ending, we wish it would be shorter or to the point or basically succinct. Let's look at an example sentence. He succinctly summed up his manifesto as work hard, train hard and play hard. Succinct originated from the Latin word singere, which means wrap or tuck in. Our next word is limbo. L I M B O, limbo, which means an uncertain period of awaiting a decision or an intermediate state or condition. In short, it's a state of uncertainty. Synonyms are unfinished, incomplete, unresolved. For example, the sudden travel ban left his family in limbo. Or startups and small businesses are in limbo due to the coronavirus lockdown. Limbo originates from the Latin word limbus, meaning edge or border. Our final word for today is gregarious. G R E G A R I O U S. Gregarious, meaning fond of company or sociable. In every friend circle, there's always that one friend who is a social butterfly. Call him gregarious. Gregarious people are like a group project. They like doing things with lots of people. Synonyms are social, outgoing, friendly, extroverted. For example, Kim is gregarious and a fun-loving party animal. So, what kind of a person are you? Gregarious, solitary, or a little of both? I hope you got those words. Now let's see how much you remember. Use today's words correctly in the following sentences. The future of the housing project was uncertain after the sudden death of the builder. John's remark on the book was concise and to the point. Tommy is a very outgoing guy. All right, that brings us to the end of today's episode. If you do actually enjoy our videos and find them useful, please share with your friends and comment. We just want as many people to watch and learn from the videos as possible. Thank you and have a wonderful week.